Oh. What's up, guys? Jay Bass Phoenix here. And, uh, we're getting back into it. Once again. Uh, obligatory book, book plug. Uh, go buy the book if you haven't already. $20 paperback. Uh, free on Kindle Unlimited. And, uh, uh, ten dollars digital for for Kindle. Um, but we're gonna upload. I said we we're gonna upload a new chapter to Anti Story every day. His origin, at least, going. Okay, I think we add a new part. No, that's no, that's a different thing. Um. Back here. It's very cold up here. Chapter five. I gotta scrap the story. There it is. I think chapter five is when no chapter six might be when he finally enters starts going on the rant. The rant uh I was about to, oh, I, I thought that was a mistake. I was like, how did I not see that? His voice distorted. Oh, shoot. I still got to reread this to make sure everything is okay. This is a bunch of mistakes in here I got to fix. Yep, chapter six is when he gets down. So that chapter six is when this story gets good. It's already good, but it gets better when you get when you get to chapter six. So we're gonna publish this. Uh, I'm excited to bring some more notes. Uh, let, me, let me show you guys. Oh no, I just edited it now. It was at like 7 a.m. I started writing some of the notes I'm about to explain to you guys in a second. Man, I wonder why fanfics get the most stuff, you know? I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe because they're already established? Okay, let's go back and make sure. Part 5 is done. The... the the traffic man on this site is horrible. Like the the most viewed thing I have is 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 the first story I posted like months ago. Like none of my news stories besides this one has any views. It's ridiculous. There's tons of readers on that on Wattpad, so I don't get it. Um, dashboard. this other achievement great um yeah establish ip they give him more people of what is already popular yeah that makes sense i'm not a fanfic kind of person if it's not canon i'm not the biggest fan of it um see how this has 84 views this is more views than my entire Watt patch page combined, bro. I have one, it's five, six. Six views out of the six stories that I posted on Wattpad. I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe these sites are more popular and I didn't know. I think Joe told me about Wattpad before, which is why I started with it, but uh, I don't know. Yep, the content. 
content, post it there. And then once we get, I think once we get to chapter 12, I'm gonna post a poll for this site and ask what was the coolest kill of the uh, of the story. We're about to get into some exciting notes. I took, I took, uh, I wrote down while I was supposed to be sleeping. That's actually when I get my best. Uh, Joe, that's me. What up, yo? Hey, what's up, C5? I didn't say what's up to you. Before. Gotta pay for them ads or something. Huh? Yeah, there are paid writers on Wattpad, like partnered people. Um, I don't, I honestly don't know. Like, maybe it's a good cover. I, I, I don't get it. I don't know. Like, I assume Inherent Violence got the most views out of all my stuff because there's a half-naked alien on it. Alien dragon. Um, so that, chapter 5 for this site, Royal Road is posted. This is the one I had to, like, uh, reassure them that it was my own thing because they're, they wanted to make sure it wasn't plagiarized. chapter five this is my favorite right now scribble hub because it has like you can see everything right here five readers we're up to five readers now that's cool we're number we're ranked number 12 in the heaven um heaven tag at the top there's something called world keeper i i i think i've heard of this author but look at this bro two point oh shoot i didn't even click two point 2.23 million views it's crazy but then when you scroll down we're not in the top 10 but we're right there not the greatest cover i know i didn't have covers made for this uh need more half naked aliens as thumbnails lol uh -huh. got a bank on that sex appeal exactly exactly um we're ranked 12 though for this for the heaven tag that's cool right above this is somebody with 108 views so i, I feel like we might get up there Maybe pass it. My, I want to pass World Keeper here, but this has 494 chapters. I mean, it's anything's possible. So, what ifs? Uh, let's get. I forgot how to do it for this site. It's okay. Edit series. That's what it is. And then uh, table of contents. Add a chapter. Oh, it's. Oh, I gotta rename this. Okay, let's go back. Table of contents that should be equal down here. Save sorting at chapter. Origin Chapter Five. Oh, I'll, 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 this this site has polls too, so I'll add. Like I said, at the end when I post the final, I figure out it's twelve chapters. When I post the twelfth chapter, I'm gonna post a poll and ask what was the coolest kill. What they thought the what the readers thought the coolest kill was. So that's that's done, right? Table of contents, move this down here. Save sorting. Keep seeing the same amount of views, so I, I I think the readers means how many people are actually following it, but not following me. That's odd. Maybe, but I, I, maybe it's in like their library. It doesn't say their bookmark though, so I, I don't know. Still figuring these sites out. I don't really use Wattpad, so I don't know what gets the most eyes I put. I, I can only tell you how my work on Amazon or it looks like it comes down to the cover and how good that is. Feel more professional, the more attention you might get, but I don't know for sure on what that. Yeah, definitely the cover. Like this, it's the exact opposite of the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. That's exactly what everybody's judging, you know? Um, welcome to the stream, Daddy. Glad you could make it. Um, but yeah, every everybody's judging by it by the cover. 
which is why I wanted my the cover for Descended to, to pop as much as I think it does um, grab people's attention. But um, the other thing that, that increases in rating, uh, in ratings, that increases it as far as like its ranking in in the the books is the ratings which is why i encourage you guys to give it you don't even have, it's ratings are different from reviews so um ratings are just like straight up just a star rating um but reviews are just you know what writing out what you thought of the book and all that um if you don't have time to write a review please if you can give it a rating so we can get let's get to the top of amazon for for something that'll be dope um five readers wait i yeah it was five readers already right okay so we uploaded all of that yo what's up chitaku i i thank you for the um follow because you followed me off stream uh friday i think i think you probably either yesterday or the day before that but thank you for the thank you for the follow um can you be all sketchy uh wattpad be all like on somebody else's story and comment like oh yeah i love the part when xyz happened in your story reminds me of something i did in my own such as an excellent such an excellent storytelling technique i i don't like doing that like <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get a little personal for a second um I've done that in the past on other people's channels and stuff like people weren't asking for any sort of advertisement and I, I'd pull something like that and immediately I, I it would like give me a rush before I wow I just realized Phoenix was spelled incorrectly back here We'll get back to that in a second. It give me a rush, I do it, and then nothing will come of it, and then I feel like a piece of crap afterwards, and then I just end up leaving whatever I was watching or whatever community I was a part of. Like I ended up leaving the casually explained Discord because it got to a point where I was making people like getting to know people on the Discord, but then I started promoting my own stuff, and then it felt like my reason for being there was to promote my own thing and that's what caused me to leave because I didn't feel like I really belonged um so yeah uh hello hey I got uh my name right <laughs> and no problem Oof. yeah yeah I really like the look of Saber Eye oh appreciate it appreciate it he was one of the characters I made back in sixth grade um uh, him and Ice Cap were two of the the OG characters I made all the way back when I started creating crappy little comics. But let's get back to this. Somebody made this for me. Shoutouts to them, but I don't want to give their name because that might not be the greatest thing. This entire time, I don't think I have any other version of that either. This entire time, I've been using this for all of my banners. All of my banners. That was like the time my grandmother pointed out on stream that I spelled follower wrong for follower goal. Bro, I cannot make this stuff up. Uh, let me see. YouTube channel stuff. This is the old... I see newest banner and old banner. Maybe... Okay, banner one. Let me see. Gotta yeah, wait for them to load. He also made an intro and out outro for me back when I did YouTube a lot more than I do now. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm on chapter eight. Yeah, that's dope. That's what's up. I was wondering about the name. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, the banner really is spelled wrong. Could be a play on words like inks, like ink on paper or something. I like the look of that C4. I, I, I like the sound of that. The positivity. positivity. Uh, leave it to your grandmother's CD. Yeah. 
Okay. No, there's... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, the old banner was spelled properly. This is newest banner. And that's the one I've been using. But the old one was spelled properly. Oh, damn. So, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go on and do that. I wonder why he wanted me to change it. It didn't look like there was much of a difference other than oh no, that's the it's my avatar. Why did he change my avatar? Background image. I didn't say avatar, did What's the Can I not change the... Nope, it changed my... Eh, guys. We made a mistake. A bit off topic, do you know the YouTuber Jax Blade? I think I know... I might know that name. Um, just inform... Yeah, um, I might, <laughs> you got this way, I think. Um, you know what, we're not going to worry about it right now. What I want to get into is, wow, they're actually like the same song in this playlist. Um, what I want to get into is the story. We're not going to worry about that right now. Um, I don't think I have a banner on these, I just have a profile picture, which is fine. But you can probably see it on the Twitch channel too. Let, let's see. It's full time. I wonder if anybody would have noticed if I didn't point it out. Nobody has pointed it out to me up until this point. I want to see. Oh, maybe I can't see it until I'm offline. Probably. Yeah, it's great. I'm not going to worry about it. Alright. So, I wrote a few things down while I was uh, supposed to be going to sleep. Your whole vibe and uh, interest in my level. Look him up, I think you'll make his stuff. Isn't he like super fit? That might be the same guy I'm, th the guy I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, I'll look into it. Uh, thanks for the uh, this anime workout shit. Anime workout? Like the One Punch Man training regimen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. That's not a hard one to forget. Jack, like Jacks, Jacks, like Jacks and Bergs and some will play. Is that his real name? I can't his real name. I mean, it can. But I don't know how likely that is. Um. Okay, so I'll, I'll read you guys the notes that I wrote down. I wrote down a few. So originally, this was like a couple nights ago I wrote down, maybe anti-sword should be double-sided like Dark Maul or Thanos' blade. I wasn't crazy about the idea because those were both... The double-sided blade seems to be more for villains, you know? He's not a villain. He's an anti-hero, hence the name anti. That's not the reason his name is anti. Um, let's pull a picture of, of, of boy. Um, so you guys have something to look at other than my face and words on the screen. Um, maybe Diaz buries himself in an Egyptian tomb to stay away from Papel through going to Egypt. We should meet. No, I already, I already said this yesterday. Okay. So we're going to create. So his whole thing, and I've explained this before, his whole thing is you know how there are demon-based characters, like a character maybe died and made a deal with a demon or the devil, and they come back to life and they're a spirit of vengeance or a revenant of some sort, or a hellspawn. He's the opposite of all of those. Um, he made a deal with an angel. The angel was trying to make him a soldier. The angel... Well, I can't spoil everything, because 
I'm still posting his origin. You guys can read it on any few of the sites that I posted on. Um, but we're going to make the deal. The deal. So he's the antithesis, hence the name of those types of characters. So we're going to make those types of characters be some of his enemies in one of his upcoming stories. That was the plan I had. And I'm thinking he's going to fight. I'm only thinking he's going to have like three of them. And they're going to fight. He's going to fight them simultaneously to show how strong he is. Um, they're going to have their own backstories and everything. And I was thinking about adding to his arsenal as well. Um, or changing around his arsenal. Um, so instead of having daggers, which is what he was given when he became this angel soldier. Um, he can use hooks. That might be cool. Hooks attached to his uh, chains of sacrifice here. And uh, maybe a scythe instead of a sword, because that's an edge weapon as well. I was thinking of edge weapons to use. There's an axe. Kratos uses an axe. I don't want him to use an axe. Uh, swords are so overused and cliched. I didn't want him to have a sword originally, but I just ended up giving him one. Um, but maybe you can still have the sword and add a scythe um, as well, because, you know, the whole angel of death reaper thing. That'll be cool. Um... So, tell me about your story and yourself. I have multiple stories to talk to. I have, uh, well, this is one that we're posting uh, day by day, chapter day by day right now. Uh, Angel Dude, ant antithesis, anti for short. I normally just call him anti. Um, what you mean a dual blade? Yeah, which yeah, yeah. Um, So, the opposite is fun. Exactly, exactly. Uh, welcome, Daddy, to, to the street. Um... Um, wait, what was I saying? I have multiple stories. This is one of the ones I'm posting. Oh, uh, shoot. It's almost 8.30 already. We're going to have to extend the stream soon, guys. Maybe uh, starting tomorrow's Monday. So maybe next Monday I'm thinking about extending the stream to... We might start with an hour and a half. Because um, we're, we're growing pretty rapidly, I'd say. Like, I've only been doing this for a few months, and we're already part, not partner, affiliated. But, um, because I want to fit a bunch of information, and I, I'm starting to not be able to do that within an hour. Plus, writing on stream for an hour makes me feel better about myself, because once I'm off stream, I'm not constantly writing. I might be playing with my friends who are off kind of during quarantine right now. Um... And I'm not spending as much time with writing as I should be and I want to be. So I'm thinking next Monday we're going to... No, oh, drink frame rate drop. I think we're going to uh, extend it to an hour and a half. And then see where that... We'll try that out for maybe a week. And then if enough people keep showing up uh, through that hour and a half... Because a lot of people for some reason show up at 9 o'clock on the dot all the time. I don't know why that happens. It's always some somebody random that happens. Like, at exactly 9, they're like, well, this stream is done. Let's go to this stream. Like, where do they come from? I don't know where they come from. But, um, yeah, if, if that does really well when we start streaming for an hour and a half next Monday, um, we might bump it up to two hours the following week and then stay for two hours for a little bit, uh, for a little while. Stay to that schedule, and I'll change the schedule in the stream and all that. Um... But yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking about bumping this up. Um, so, to answer your question, Chicago, I know I did not answer your question, and I sidetrack a lot, because all my, my thoughts go everywhere. Um, we have a lot of stories, um, different series, different stories taking place at, simultaneously. Um, Anti is part of the Descended series, which is um, the first book I published April 3rd. Um, might want to go ahead and grab yourself a copy. Joe is enjoying it. Joe is on chapter eight. Um, it, oh, I got the owl right there. Um, he's part of this series. He's not going to join the series until book six. But if this book does well enough, I'm going to crank out book two as fast as possible. Because right now I'm just waiting for like a deal with the publishing company right now I'm just applying to literary agents every day um, so they can talk to the publishing companies to see if I can get a deal um, but 
Anti is part of this story, but Anti, I, I started writing, because he's one of my favorite characters that I created, um, I started writing his own, like, series of short stories. Here, I can bring up his short story list. So we have his origin here, which is the thing I'm posting chapter by chapter every day, because that's the longest um, short story I have so far. Um, then we wrote Captivity on screen, where he's, like, carting a demon girl um, to somebody that the angels made a deal with. Um, then this is the third one we're going to write. I call it Pepsi Crystal Man because he fights using crystals. So um, that's what I'm planning out right now. I think I have his origin ready and I think I do want him to go to Egypt and be a part of that whole mythology a little bit. Um, then we have some other stories where he's going to acquire some other... I want his arsenal to expand past the three weapons he has currently the chains the daggers and his sword um so i want him to have acquired relics and stuff like that down the line so that's where we're going with that um what else oh we should probably darn i was gonna start um actually if i finish chapter four fast enough we can actually get back to this i was gonna start developing the three rival like uh demon-based characters he's going to uh, fight in one of his short stories. Um, so that's their, these are their templates here. And actually, yeah, let's let's get to that and we'll get back to um, them in a second. Because I wanted to develop them on stream because I was so excited to start developing them. Um, they're probably all going to have chains because for some reason all of these demon these demon-based characters have chains, which is why I also gave him chains. I don't know why it's a thing. Maybe it's to represent the, the shackles that the demons hold over them. That's probably it. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, two more. So, would you say you feel, uh, so who who would you sorry who would you say you feel is your most favorite number one top character in your books? Cryo Man. Cryo Man, I um, I named he he was he was originally named Glacier, and this was his original look. He's gonna have like energy powers, but that was way too freaking similar to Lux. Um, and he was supposed to be like his original name was Lycan, and he was supposed to be like fighting mythological. Uh, based uh, villains in his own city thing, but uh, I rebranded him a little bit, and this isn't even his final. This isn't even his final form. This isn't his final suit either. Um, this is just the suit he's had. He has in the first book of him. I'm still writing. I'm on like chapter five still. Um, this is his father's hoodie. This is his mother's necklace. Um, and this is what he saves people in the first book. Then he gets a more advanced suit down the line. But um, he is 100% my favorite. And then, actually, I have a list of my favorite characters. No, I don't have to open that right now. Um, it goes Cryo Man. Then I believe Malos is second. He's like my uh, character. Of, I'm just going to say he's evil Superman type character. That I made so he has no weaknesses. And I'm going to introduce him in the ninth or 10th book in the series of Descended. Um, all of these, all of my favorite characters are characters you guys are not going to know for a little bit. And I can't stand it. And I don't want to introduce them earlier because all of them are really, really strong. Um, I'm trying to easy everybody into it. Um, then probably anti then Detrius, who is the dragon of war, he's an alien dragon god. This, where is it? So here's Malos. You can see the inspiration, the heavy inspiration there. Um, Detrius here. So the thing is with these alien dragon gods called the Nebula Dragons, when they when they kill one of their own, this is his sister, his younger sister up here, young, the youngest daughter of the Nebula Dragons. Um, when the dragons or any living being kills one of the dragons, they acquire the domain that the dragon ruled over, 
So if somebody were to kill him, him being the dragon of war, they would become the god or whatever they are of war, the alien of war, whatever. Um, but he, uh, well, you learn about him in the epilogue of the first book a little bit. You learn about the entire family in the epilogue of the first Descended book. So I cannot, I want to spoil what happens, but I cannot for all of your sake. Um, go for it. I got time to kill. Only an hour? Oh, hell no. I say everyone should stream at least two hours. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely uh, look into that. We're, we're going to look into that. Um, I want to keep the hour going for at least a little bit longer, like I said, this coming week. And then I want to see um, see if we can get any other uh, consistent people in here. All of y'all in the chat are, are hella consistent, so it, it's, it's not y'all fault. It's nobody's fault, really. I just... Uh, we're trying to get partnered, and in order for that to happen, we need an average of 75 viewers. Currently, we have 3.3. Three, five. So we need, we're trying to, I'm trying to get to that point. So as we continue to grow, um, you know, we'll eventually get there. I know it's going to happen at any point, but, um, yeah. So before we develop these new characters and you know what, I'm not going to develop them off screen for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do it all screen for you guys. Even though I'm very excited to, let's finish chapter 4 because we have like one more scene to go of uh, Disturbed Delinquents, which is another series uh, to answer your questions, questions Chitaka. We have multiple series. This is a free series that's going to be going up on all three of these sites, Wattpad, um, Royal Road, and Scribble Hub. Um, as soon as my artist gets the cover done, He's supposedly working on the cover for the audiobook of the other series I mentioned, Descended. Um, I need to get in contact with him because he was supposed to have that yesterday. Um, but I'm waiting. I'm really just waiting on my artist to start releasing some of this stuff. Like, we have the first three chapters of, um, of Disturbed Delinquents done already. So, let's finish chapter four and then we'll have four chapters done if it wants to load at any point move the beats over here move the story itself over here so it's chapter four in the beats where is did i leave the actual document open is the document not open isn't it a different Nope, not there. Oh, did the music end? Music might have ended. Yep. All right, we'll pick this one. That's next. Um, I guess I closed out of it. That wasn't supposed to happen. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Dancing. Okay. See, these are the series I'm currently developing. I have plenty of time to, to write all of them. I'd love to get to the point where I'm writing all of them. And developing some of them into animated TV series, because I think... Most of them are crazy to the point where you'd have to animate it because the budget for CGI and live action would cost way too much. Um, only ones I could see, well, really the only one I could see not needing, like possibly live action is middle class. We're just a kid that develops telekinesis one day, not telekinesis, um, telepathy one day and he uses that to become upper class. Um, but yeah, these are all the series, so this is the Senate, that's, that's where the first book is out. Dark Before Dawn, that's the one where my favorite character, Cryo Man, uh, that's his series. Um, and we got a whole bunch of others. Some of them are spin-offs, so Ascended 
is what takes place in heaven during the events of Descended. Um, demigodhood is what takes place in the locations that my created demigods are. So Greece, um, I don't, wherever Norse mythology is, the, the realms, all of it, the nine realms, and uh, Egypt for the Egyptian mythology. So let's open the Stopius thing. Uh, there you go. Load in. Load in. Take, take your time. Except don't. Because we don't have a whole lot of time. Come on. Come on. Hold down now. There you go. Alright. So let's finish this. Kokaida just killed off. So, recap. Um, we are. What did I? What did I say? Why did you say we are, Daddy? Oh, frames. Um. To recap, so, Plaid Lad, the young guard. Um. So, Ciro and Zashi, the two main char two of the main characters so far snuck into the CEO's building. This is on Alien Planet, by the way. I'm probably going to lose you at some point during this recap. Um, snuck into the CEO's building. They got around the guards. They went to her office. One of the guards, the younger, the youngest guard among that, this squad of guards, uh, caught them. You know, he was like, what are you doing? And he's like, well, to say the truth, I'm trying to take down the CEO of this, this corporation, the one that hired you. He's like, okay, cool. There's the balcony. You guys might want to leave through that way because um, she's not here right now. So they jump out the balcony. He looks back at his guard group that's coming up the stairs. And he's like, you know what? I'm going with them. He hops off and he slides down the side of the building with them. Um, and we're about to learn in this final scene that um, this guard squad that the younger guard was a part of was his family. All of them were his family members. Um and the CEO, the one that hired them, has gotten sick and tired of the guards losing this one child, the main character, Ciro. Um, this is the second time they've lost him because she sees just just the brim of his hoodie before like they they're out of view. Um, she's watching from the balcony, watching him slide down. And she's like, that's the same kid that you guys let go before. And they're like, we're sorry, it's never going to happen again. That's what happens here. Uh, she pauses, stares at them blankly, turns uh, turns back to the outside balcony where Ciro exits by Zashi and the young guard jumps. She says, I know. I love this cliche. Um, and with that, she goes through with murdering their entire guard squad and begins thinking of other guard prospects. So, to mention to mess with his character a little bit more and give him a, a bit more depth. <laughs> um, Clad thinks he should have been, that's the young guard's name, he thinks he should have been with his family when the CEO that hired them killed all of his family. He's like, I should have been up there with them, but instead I chose to jump with you delinquents, you yahoos, you, you thugs um but that'll be revealed down the line that's gonna be a thing that'll probably blow up in everybody's faces um we're gonna have that he doesn't know that they're dead yet because he just jumped off with them we're gonna have him because the reader doesn't know that those guards were his family so we're about to reveal that here in this scene and in the chapter on that um she killed off her guards clad's clan the four get back to Ciro's hideout and discuss Clad's choice, and Clad mentions that the entire guard squad was his family, and I think that's what we're gonna end on that reveal. Um so Ciro drops his bag in the corner of his apartment. I'm not gonna keep calling it a hole in the wall apartment. The reader would know that by now in the corner of his apartment and sits on his bed. I say plops. 
down on his bed. Exhale. Sashi stands with her arms crossed and back against the wall. Takes a bite, crawls on top of the workbench. Tool bench? Workbench? Bench. And waits for conversation to begin. Staring at the newest member of their, what's the word, dysfunctional? jumped with them, announces, um, That's zero. Little one. Get back to my Rashi. Goes back. Sarah glares at her. I can introduce myself. told you what our plans were with your boss, your next boss. If you're going to join our cause, we need to know your intentions. Funny how Sierra is actually the leader of the group, but she is the one questioning Glad. And I wrote down his intentions, I think, when I created him. Let's drag this over here. It's a new document. I need to remember, I, I kind of know what they were, but I need to remember exactly what they were. Uh, that's Grace. comes from a family of stellars and normally serve as guards for underground villains because they are seen as brutes. He wants to be at the top where the CEOs are, making his goals a selfish one, but it changes over time as it warms up to them. Yeah. Wait, I don't need this open. Why is that open? What is this? Oh, this is the... I might do this off screen. I'm probably going to do this off screen. This is the beats I'm planning for the third story. Beats I'm planning for the third uh, short story. And I'm probably writing it off stream too. 
maybe. I'm not entirely sure. If I do write it on stream, I'm going to catch you guys up to where I am in it. Um, I need to know your intentions. Okay. I guess I'll just... Lay it all out on the table. He's a pretty simple guy on the surface, so this is why he feels comfortable saying what he's about to tell him. I come from a family. Stellars like yourselves. family, the people you just avoided up there, that should be a dash of belief. We are seen as groups to both CEOs and prime lords. I wanted to prove, I want to prove that we can be where they are. I want to be a CEO myself uh, at the top. We're not gonna have him reveal that his family was. Um, we still will still have ten minutes. I'm about to end it on another like two lines. Um, we're not gonna have him reveal that right there. Um, family Stellars like yourselves. We're seen as brutes to both CEOs and crime lords. I wanted to prove that we can be where they are. I want to be seeing myself at the top. And. Where's your family? Zero ass. Oh. You were together. So. Let's have, let's have him pause here, class says. So that entire squad. Of guards, you guys snuck past. Past it like that, or is it? Jeez, I never remember. I'm gonna use that one here. I don't know if it's the right one. Uh, you guys snuck past. That's my family, and we'll end chapter four on that. That punch to the gut. And we'll just title chapter five and we'll get to developing the twin base characters. Chapter five. But we still have chapter five planned out. We have plenty of time to continue. Because I need, I still need, I'm waiting for it to come to me. I know it's gonna come to me. Still need a place where the six of them can meet outside of Sierra's apartment, because or any of their living situations, because obviously that's not going to be the safest thing. None of them are rich, unlike the government-funded arc base of Descended, the Descended series. Um, so they need either a public place or somewhere they can reliably meet that might be private, that they might have to pay for or something. I'm not entirely sure just yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's all the way, well, I can't say all the way now because we're two chapters away. That's in chapter seven. Um, but we still have two characters to introduce. So when we get to chapter five, 
we will be introducing uh, Grace, the deadhead, um, and she has a flaming skull for a head and face. And then we get to the final member, Solace, um, in chapter six. I can't wait to get to him because he's one of he's probably. Uh, I don't want to put him above Zero, but he might be my favorite above Zero in the delinquents. And he was an add-on. I like I like the idea of him so much. I was only supposed to keep it to the five. Grace was supposed to be the final member, but I love the idea of Sawa so much that I added a sixth member. I wanted to keep it small. Five for me. Five main characters for me is actually very small. Um, but darn it if I couldn't help myself. So we'll continue with chapter five next stream. But let's do at least a little bit in these few minutes we have of creating these new characters here. Um, the. Oh god, they're further up, right? The deal demon. Demon based people. Oh, at some point, we're gonna have like a parody Justice League and like the Batman. Of, of the team, his name is going to be Night Knight. That'll be in the Descendant series. That'll be like... Book 9 is... Oh god, I forgot the name of Book 9. Uh, which one is the hero killer one? Okay, Book 9 is United. I was going to say Unity. It's United, then Trinity. Book 10 is Trinity. So I think... Uh, Book 9 is when you see this fake Justice League come into play. And all of them are being created to die. To Malos when he touches down. That'll be really fun. Another thing, the series you just saw me finish a chapter on, that's more YA centric. Uh, I don't ever go into graphic detail about the violence that's in it there is like violence of course um but there's like little to no swearing right now i'm really proud of myself for that um but descended is the complete opposite like there's gore and violence i'm not really a huge like there's no sex scenes i probably feel really uncomfortable writing something like that like what do I need that for in the book? It's action. Action sentry. So, uh, I think I want one of them to be female. Maybe two of them. No. Oh, gosh. Okay, now I'm going to have at least two males. I don't think I want one of them to be female because females are not the easiest for anti to fight. Reason why. Um reason why is because he's been with his wife his whole life. If you read just his introduction in the chapter one of the Abandoned Angel Origin on any three of those sites, um, he's been a... What's Heavenborn? So, Hellspawn. Um, anti, he's been with his wife for... He was 40 when he died because he's dead um and he's been with his wife since like high school his high school sweetheart um they had two kids together he had like a perfectly average life perfectly average unaverage life um he was killed his family was killed you learn that in the first like paragraph that's not a spoiler um and real name names weapon okay chains they're all going to have chains. And you see when he goes to the bloodbath, Urza Bathory's club, um, he's not good around other women. Because he's not used, first of all, he's not used to other women hitting on him. But now that he's undead, he's cool, I guess. Um, and, you know, he's been out of the dating game for years. Like, decades. So he's not best around, especially attractive women. And that's just 
they're kind of like his weakness, so to speak. Uh, alignment, I think there, I just want them all to be, I want one to be chaotic evil. That would be pretty cool. I don't use kid. That's probably one of my least used alignments. Um, I didn't have any names planned for any of these people. Maybe they should be part of the super name chart. Dark Titan, Zeno, Red Wraith. Actually, I like Red Wraith for one of them. Let me get rid of that and use that. I think Red Wraith would be the leader of this trio. Real name. It doesn't really matter right now. We'll we'll get one off stream. It's the only thing I'll do off stream. I'll like do some research on names or something off stream. Normally. Leader of Hellspawn. Trio. I'm already liking the idea of him right now. So, because they are supposed to be homages to the three characters I mentioned earlier, a Hellspawn, a Revenant, and a Spirit of Vengeance, I think I want the Red Wraith to be probably the... I was going to say the Spirit of Vengeance. But I like that idea better for the Hellspawn. They're all, I, I just put, like, I'm trying not to, I don't want to confuse you guys. Hellspawn is just a thing. So since Hellspawn is a thing, I made, I don't know if Heavenborn is a thing, but that's what I call anti. That's when I, I, I say angel base just to simplify it, but Heavenborn. Um, and his rival in the third story that we'll meet, uh, he's also Heavenborn as well. Powers, uh, Hellfire... They'll, they'll probably all have Hellfire things. Generation, Hellfire, Manipulation. Yo, this is the same exact playlist as the other one, bro. Are they all streaming the same music? Just Are they just stealing from each other? Oh my god. Uh... Because there's not many female characters in anti stories besides the one that he carded in the second story, and that wasn't really one that stuck. Um, I'm probably gonna make the last one female. Oh, I have Hellfire. Uh, the second one, he's gonna be chaotic evil. He's definitely gonna have a flaming skull. Flaming Hellfire. Let's go. Oh man, I got so lost into this. Um, I want to keep going, guys. I might do this. You know what? I might do this off stream if I if I really still am in it as soon as the stream ends. Um, I will catch you guys up in the beginning half of tomorrow's stream. But we do have to end the stream for tonight. Um, like I said, one more week of this, and then we're going to try the ha one and a half hour thing next week. See how that goes. Just, just, just ease you into the two hours if that does, if that does really well. Um, but yeah, go ahead and read. It was, the whole thing was up before, but I think it's better to upload in parts right now because all the other two websites are using it by chapter. Um, feel free to go ahead and I have to go back and edit the story itself because I'm sure there are errors all over the place. Um, go ahead and start reading Anti's Origin in case you want to know more about the character. The, one of my top three. It's probably top three now because I'm writing so much about him. Top three favorite characters that I originally created. Um, I promise you, I promise you the story is really good. You might not know all the characters. Uh, if you... You don't have access to it just yet but it would make more sense if you knew the characters from descended in this story 
and some of the characters in the beginning of his origin story are in descendant so perfect segue into the obligatory book plug make sure you guys go ahead if you haven't already get yourself a copy of the paperback it's only twenty dollars cheaper than most paperbacks i promise you most paperbacks 25 30 dollars this 20 i recommend the paperback because there's just something about holding this thickness in your hands that's that's it feels real good um kindle unlimited run you up 3.99 minus 99 and all other digital well really just kindle is uh ten dollars make sure if you've read it already or are currently reading it let me know how you feel by rating it. give it a rating if you give it a rating we get higher up in the ranks of amazon and more and more people get to find it um somebody i don't know who they didn't tell me already rated it five stars so that should speak to something right right um so make sure you guys get yourselves a copy audiobook coming very soon the narrator needs to get on it um but yeah make sure you guys uh it, you can read it on wattpad or royal road or um or scribble hub that's my favorite right now um first five chapters are up we upload there are only 12 chapters to it so we're uploading a chapter every day to it um just to give just to spread it out a little um and yeah, I think that's that's gonna be it for for today, y'all. I stream every day from eight to nine p.m. Probably seven thirty to nine. No, I might have to extend it past nine p.m. Because like I said, a lot of people come at nine p.m. So we might be extending that from eight to nine thirty, and then the two hours might be seven thirty to nine thirty. Um, but for right now, I'm streaming 8 to 9 p.m. every day, Eastern, except Fridays. I take Fridays off. It's a metabolic thing. Um, and I think that's it. I still I still have not uploaded streams to YouTube. There, I'm like six behind at this point. I really need to get on it. Um, thank you guys so much to watch, for watching. Let me do the, the chat shoutouts for everybody that was chilling in chat today. C4, as always. Joe, as always. Uh, Daddy as always, uh, and the new man's Chotaku. Shout outs to you, um, and Daddy too, and Mom's was in the chat as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see everybody back here tomorrow night. And this is Jay Bitch Phoenix. Wait, let me get the button. The button. Up. Uh, button lag. Button lag. Man, the button been slacking, bro. Maybe the button's been like overworked or tired or something. But yeah, this is J Phoenix. Once again, I don't know if that's